Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. It's a new week here uh, with Basic Sorgonomics. And uh, I want to talk to you guys about, uh, I guess, consistency is is the word. Um, <laughs> as I hit a week where I uh, hit a day late on Sawtooth Willie and uh, and keep moving back my uh, newsletter for the week and write up. Um, but it's a little bit of flux and it's okay every once in a while. The problem is when it happens from time to time. We talk about with podcasts and we talk about with blogging. I was listening to um, this great uh, this great book on Audible that just came up, and I'll probably talk to you a little bit about it more on the uh, awesome cast called "Follow the Geeks." And, and I'm hearing about uh, you know some pe- you know the, the people that started Life Hacker and things like that, queuing up 15 posts a day and having a lot of content, right, and consistent content. And how important that is. And look at where that got them. Podcasts that have that show every week without fail, that is going to happen, right? Um, and then seeing shows of more popular people that are very busy, where sometimes that doesn't happen. And, and it's kind of interesting. And I wonder how their numbers do because of it. I, I think you probably get a hit every time. And, and I'm concerned about, you know, granted the couple things that I'm, I'm kind of waiting on are things that are still kind of finding their foothold, and and I don't feel like we're we're really kind of slacking on a large large audience, but still it kind of pains me to not have that happen. But it's also different levels of production in different different ways. Um, one thing that's really can I say that it's something has failed me lately? Um, and I think we've all had this where we've had a service that really has uh, a, a service that really has become part of you know what we you know how we go about things, how we follow things, how we. Um, 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 I don't know, listen to things, read things. Uh, Google Reader going away has really kind of usurped a lot of people. And I see as it's coming up right now here, it's uh, Monday evening uh, this week, and uh, Stitcher has been down since probably, probably about Thursday or Friday. And Stitcher, for many, many years, the countless hours that it lists, I've been a user, I think it says since, since uh, 2011 at least, if not earlier, um, this is has been my go-to for podcasting for years. Now, after it's been down the entire weekend and and one or two business days now, I got up this morning, it wasn't there. I started looking for alternatives. And that's the problem. If I have to go start looking for my content that's not exclusively found through you somewhere else, I'm probably not coming back. Or maybe I want another kind of that content to come up. Um I'm not sure if I'm going to go back because now I'm re-exploring the podcast app on on iPhones. I'm re-exploring um, the the Twit app that's on on the, on the iPhone by I think it's Swift Key Software, and I think that maybe I might be staying with that. You know, and whereas I was somebody that said, you know, hey, when you're putting your thing on Stitcher because that's how I listen to podcasts, and I'd like to be able to put you in my rotation. Uh, I've bugged friends about that, and I, now I feel really bad as that thing went down, and now I'm going to look at something else. Am I going to return to Stitcher? I don't know. And that's the problem Stitcher has to consider, and I'm wondering how many people may have this problem. Um, Stitcher is something, and on, on, on top of being someplace that's not an exclusive provider of certain types of content, Stitcher is also something that some people pay for. Some people, much like a Hulu Plus, some people pay for this in order to... Uh, pay for this in order to 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 listen to their podcast without commercials and that if i was one of those people i would not be terribly happy about that i'm as mildly irked as it is right now okay that's fine um but you know certainly uh, you have to worry about that and i think you need to consider that you know i've, I've had a, a recent rashes where my website's been down because I'm still trying to track down why that was. And, and that's a problem as I'm trying to st- establish certain things that are part of my business. Um, and I don't know if it's just what we're picking on on, on our server size or, 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 or server side or whatever the case may be. It needs to get resolved, you know, much like these guys. Because if somebody's going to look for some of my stuff it, and is it, is it happening from a flux of people from, you know, if we get linked somewhere? I don't know. I haven't really been tracking it down. I didn't notice any downtime when we had 5,000 hits coming from Reddit from an article one day, for instance. Um, something else is happening, and I need to figure that out. But in the meantime, once people, we say, hey, go to, your, go to our website and vote for something, or go to our website and read this article, or go to their website and subscribe, that needs to be there, or else... You look like a site that doesn't know what it's doing. Not that it doesn't know what it's doing. It looks like a just a less than reputable site if I, you can't even keep the lights on, right? 
And and I, I think a lot of people need to kind of watch out for that. Um, Stitcher has a problem. I, I, and I don't know why they went down. I hadn't seen any information on why they went down. Really couldn't even find any news articles, unlike the, the Comcast outage. And that's something else. Comcast had a giant outage on this, this Monday um, that, you know, granted, there's not a lot of alternatives a lot of times for them. But a lot of times there are now, especially when it comes to television. Internet, it's still a problem in a lot of areas. Um, but that was a large mass population in a lot of the large populations that have a pen. Uh, the New York, the San Francisco, the Philadelphia, a lot of big metropolitan areas where they are writing, they are blogging, they are tweeting, and that's going to turn it into a much, much bigger problem than if this happened in the middle of nowhere, right? And, uh, and, and now that just continues to sway people in their opinions on Comcast that already has a horrible, 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 horrible problem about uptime, customer service, you name it, right? So going back to, as we have, a, as we talk about our podcast all the time, consistency is key. Consistency is key. And if you're a podcast, if you're a service, if you're a customer service based operation, if you're selling things, if you're iTunes, if that experience gets you know, uh, uh, disrupted, then, uh, then it, your, your customers are going to think twice about you or, or presume the worst, for instance. So I try to be very responsive whenever we have, um, any issues, when we have any technological problems with our, our download services with indie wrestling.us. I don't want anybody to think that they just paid somebody some money and now they don't have what they paid for. Uh, that's going to be the worst feeling in the world as they're already taking a leap on faith and putting their money into our site and not iTunes, not the bigger websites that provide the same services as we're trying to establish ourselves into something like this. So um, let me know your thoughts. What happens when a site goes down? Are you affected by the Stitcher downage from the Comcast downage this past week or anything like that? What's happening out there? And how do you perceive that? Do you go back to the services or you just shrug it off and, and return? Um, I know a lot of you guys out there have been affected by Sony PlayStation Network downages. Who are not Hulu downages, although that has happened, um, or or Xbox Live downages uh, that you can't go online to your stuff. I know that's a big concern for me because if I can't get online, my save games are in the cloud on my Xbox 360, and uh, even something happened there, and I couldn't, I, I simply couldn't play even local games at that point. We've had issues with that with uh, DRM for some Assassin's Creed games. Something would go down on a server that I would check into, and you're bought PC copy of Assassin's Creed 2, I think it was, would stop working. It's a problem. Let me know what you think at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Basic Sorgonomics on the iTunes or Stitcher, Spreaker, uh, wherever you want to find it, uh, YouTube, Facebook as well. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.